Hey guys, it's Comancia here. If you saw our last video, you got a behind the scenes look at how we properly preserve artifacts and items here at the museum. But what if you're at home trying to protect your own family heirlooms? Some commonly used methods of home storage can actually harm those objects. Today we're going to give you some helpful tips you can use at home to properly protect those family heirlooms. Keep in mind that the less you have to handle your items, the more preserved your items will stay. Storage containers provide a buffer between the object and its immediate environment. Even small details you may think don't really matter could affect the preservation of your items, such as the wrong relative humidity levels or even temperature. So it is really important to create a microclimate for your delicate heirlooms. Most of us are used to just wrapping our things in a newspaper and keeping them in a cardboard box for storage. Well, using cardboard is actually frowned upon because the acidity in the cardboard causes the box to just break down over time. Instead, find some different sized acid-free boxes that will better fit your item. Newspapers should also be avoided, along with any other papers that have color from a dye, like construction paper or tissue gift wrapping paper you want to find more of an acid-free tissue. Sometimes our favorite photos get ripped or even torn in half, but scotch tape should never be used as a quick fix. Instead of using tape, just simply keep it in a polyethylene photo sleeve to keep it together without harming the quality of the photo. Bundles of paper are easy to just wrap a rubber band around, but it is smarter to keep important documents in a folder made from acid-free cardstock material. Be sure to remove any metal items that can rust, like staples or paper clips. If you like to hang your pieces of clothing, wider framed hangers are best for keeping the natural shape of them instead of wire hangers. Some objects can be kept in a Ziploc bag, so you don't have to use any kind of trash bag. Another good substitute for a trash bag is a fabric called unbleached muslin. Some of these preferred materials can be found at your local fabric or craft store. Museum professionals often purchase these items through the Gaylord Archival Company. This company also sells items to the general public. You can check them out at gaylord.com. We also want to remind you of the importance of record keeping. If you ever decide to donate your family heirlooms to any organization or even another family member, it will help legitimize your items to have vivid descriptions with them. So make sure to take the time to note details of any photographs you have and keep the records separate from the photo. You want to mention who's in the photo, where the photo was taken, and the relationship between the two. The record of this should be kept in a separate folder, but if you must write on the back, Definitely use pencil instead of pen. Well, we hope we've given you a better understanding of proper at-home preservation. Make sure you like our Facebook page so you can keep up with everything going on here at the museum. And while you're online, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Comanche Museum. Until next time, for the Comanche National Museum and Cultural Center, I'm Comancia Jones.